everyone, it is Char from Char's Fashionation here to show you my completed, now completed because I got this done and I got like, well, I don't know, thinking about just leaving this rough edge, but for now it's completed. I might just leave that little edge there. This is a jersey knit fabric. It is not my mystery fabric. My mystery fabric is put away for now. Um, but that's a whole other video I did for you. Um, so this is dress number one of the Fabric Mart dress challenge. Why do I say dress number one? Well, this was the spare panel piece because I got three and then I got three sleeves. And I was thinking, do I want to do the sleeve on this? If I do, I'll do it later because it's kind of like I need my bottle of water right now. Always keep that handy. Um, I like this. I like this. I almost thought about like put a pocket right here, but thinking if I put a pocket right there, that's going to fit kind of funny. It's going to look a bit, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so this one. It's hot as I don't know what in here. I even turned off my little space heater. Um, but it's hot today. I'm not complaining. It helps my joint health. <laughs> um, so this, I, I love the stretch. You know, if I wanted to take it in, I could just take these panels here and just go ahead and do that. But as you see, I'm very curvaceous. <laughs> I'm very curvy. And that's why when I turn to the side like this, you can at least see like how long this is because I shorten this part of it. <laughs> I did, and I did that on purpose. Um, for too long, we ladies have been wearing, oh, either slit up the side, the front, whatever, in the back. It's time that if we do want to be modest, but a little bit meow at the same time, and be comfy, oh, this is comfy. If I later decide I want pockets in this, absolutely could do that. Could also do a belting, but the only problem with doing belting is, well, my figure number one, I do still have a little bit of the ab left, and I gotta get rid of that. Uh, yeah, that got to go. Anyway, so. So, this is dress number one for the Fabric Mart Challenge. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, you guys know I did do this. Oh, yeah, I do have fabric still hanging on her. Um, you guys do know I did the uh, Vogue pattern. 1671. I'm still not in love with that dress. I don't hate it, but I'm not in love with it. Um, so I'm just going to take this apart here, right? And um, add a waistband in and you're like, how are you going to do that? I'm going to shorten the length and then take that fabric and make it into the waistband. And that my friends, I'm going to do that. Now, I have two other videos to upload to YouTube about this dress. Um, and also post it over. I know, right? The armholes are a bit big. But I'm not mad at that. This is just for around the house comfort. I'm not mad at this. <sighs> I can go lounge on the deck. 
which my cardiologist said to do. In fact, my cardiologist's office says that I shouldn't even be wearing a mask. <laughs> bad for the ticker. Um, yes, bad for the ticker. Um, so they politely, you know, excuse me from having to not wear a mask, but Take six feet and shove it. I'm not quarantined no more. Don't try to put a mask on my face when I go out the door. <laughs> there is this song. You guys should look this up on YouTube. It's called Take Six Feet and Shove It. You will get a hilarious laugh off of that. But it's the truth. Uh, and it's so greatly done. I'm not really a country music person, but, you know, I like that song. Take six feet and shove it. So... Oh, that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna find a hair tie again. I don't know what happened to mine, but anyway, guys, this is my fabric mark dress. Um, one thing that I'm uploading soon, soon is I want to sit down so bad. Um, and I have to talk to you first, is like those two videos and then I explain something because I can't love you guys. No. You guys know I'm anti-mask anyway. And my cardiologist gave me a good reason to be anti-mask. Oh. So if you already have upper respiratory ailments, go speak to your cardiologist about Ooh, when my Jeffree Star palette gets here, my cremated palette, I could be wearing one of the two dresses and do a look with that. Oh my gosh, yes. Anyway, <laughs> and I do have other things coming to my channel here soon for you. Look, I'm not a bored person. I have a lot of fabric. I have skills. I have skills. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, that painting that I did changes in the freaking light. Do you, I mean, last time you saw that, it wasn't that color. What's the magic behind it? I don't know. It's just me. So anyway, guys, one more twirly world. It is a bit twirly, isn't it? Um, and like I said, I'm not mad at this. It fits nice. Now if I do the other one, then it's a little bit, you know, like, yeah. But I'm still not going to be mad at that. Um, I can alter it later. So anyway, guys, I want you to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed because... As my cardiologist's office said today, um, go outside and get some air without a mask on because that's what we should all really be doing. <laughs> oh, you have to love a good cardiologist that tells the truth. The truth. Right? So, I will see you guys later. Go get some air out there. And so on and so on. <laughs>